could barely talk this morning. So check out what happened yesterday on our last day of skiing. This guy just ran all the way to House of Pie super early in the morning with all of his friends. You're all guilty. Every single one of you. Enjoy. This is what it's all about. Good things unfortunately have to come to an end and today is the last day of ski club. And here comes Tyler walking slower than a snail's pace, but he's over there, he's on his way and he doesn't know it, but I got him some Wendy's. Chili and a baked potato. That's what he wanted with crackers and sour cream and all that good stuff. Hello, child. Watch out for all my garbage. <laughs> when did you have Wendy's? What do you mean? Did you get it loaded? Yes. Okay, good. It got it loaded this time. It's got cheese and all that yummy stuff. Okay, good. How do we open it? I, I can't get it open. You're gonna have to open it. Yeah, last time we forgot the cheese and bacon. That was a bad idea. Oh my gosh, you're struggling. It's child proof. Wow, you can't get it. <laughs> We're gonna have to send it back. We're gonna have are you serious? You can't get in there? Oh, I oh he got, got it. it. Look at I that. I would've cut into it. Oh, cheese and bacon and yeah, sour cream. They, they you didn't even got they... butter. Butter, and sour butter. cream, chili. You got it all, and a root beer. Oh. Look at how quiet. I am literally the only person on the whole ski lift. We ended up leaving a little early today. Look at all that snow down there under the lift. If you recall, most of the other times, zero snow anywhere around here. Under the lift, it was all man-made snow. And now, got some fresh powder from two days ago, and it is our last time on the hill. Our forced playtime. Forced as in, you know, we paid for it like six months ago when we registered him and we committed to it and now we're here. We're gonna hit every trail on the mountain today. So Tyler is actually getting his snowboard rental all set up. You and I are going to take this trip all the way down the mountain. Here we go. actually slower than I thought it was going to be. Down we go. Okay, one thing I forgot to do was tighten my feet at the top of the hill. I cheated and on the ski lift, I put both feet in, the back one and the front one. Normally it's just the front, you let the back one dangle and then you hook it up at the top. But because it's so slow, I was able to hook them both in and then I can get off and just ride. But I forgot to check and make sure they were hooked in nice and tight and they weren't. And then all the way at the bottom, I'm recording and skiing and talking and looking for Tyler and I fell down. First ride of the day, I fell down. We'll see, Tyler had to go rent his snowboard and do a couple other things. I think I see him down there, so. We'll get him on the lift and we'll do another ride down the hill on one of the big, one of the big ones. And I'll try to record the whole thing all the way down. I found him. He's actually on this lift somewhere behind me. On our way up the bigger lift. I've, I'm done with that hill over there. The kitty hill right over there. It's too small, it's too slow, it's too hard. It's actually too hard to ski when it's that slow. I think the water content in the snow is so high that it's super sticky, like nobody's moving fast. Look at these guys. They're barely moving. Oh, 
Make sure you tighten them in. I forgot to do that last time. Pretty slow. <laughs> so you, got, you can't be afraid to just go straight. Yeah. Tyler found what we call fluffy. Basically, snow off to the side that not many other people have uh, snowboarded on, and it's very fluffy. <laughs> I'll stay up here and watch you go all the way down. Careful. Super fluffy. It's like nobody snowboards over here. It's off trail. He's going to try to go all the way down off trail. See how he's all the way. Oh, and he fell. All right. He fell down. Now, will he be able to get some speed to get around that corner and actually be able to get out of here? He's moving again and he fell. All right, I gotta go get him. Slow. Super slow. Like, look, I'm barely moving. Come on, Tyler. Keep going. We're going so fast. Okay, bye bye. We're going to go up that hill. Ready, guys? Let's come. Come with me to the left. Slow down just a little. Up the hill. Down the hill. We're gonna do it again. Okay, we missed it. It was over there. Okay, now we're just going to those. We're going all the way. That's it. It's time to go all the way. Okay, he should be coming. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Top of the hill, to the left. Over here. He's doing good. Just remember, his first season ever. Last season he went twice, stayed on that hill the whole time, then broke his hip. I think these ski trips cost me more in money than in skiing. It's funny. I think part of the memory is the food. We've got the Wendy's on the way here. He just ordered a burrito bowl inside at the ski lodge there. And then, almost guarantee it, it's, we got here so early, it's only 5.13. We've been skiing for, we've been, we've been skiing for two hours. And he's eating already. So am I. And then we're gonna eat again right away. Done. It's getting late. Get 
Oh my gosh, it's very, uh, my screen's all wet because it's snowing. Oh, he did, he did the wood that I did. The tree part. They're doing pretty good. Uh-oh, we're stopping. Nice job. Yep, we stopped. We're done. Look at how many snowboards are left. Just mine. He's returning his to the rental place. Not a bad season. No, I might have to tell mom my new retirement dream is to live on a ski mountain when we're older instead of the ocean. Because that was fun. Problem is, I think my knees can handle sitting on a boat doing nothing <laughs> better than skiing. <laughs> You know, as we get older, I don't think the skiing thing is something I'll be able to keep up with. But for the time being, it's still a good time.